Hello guys, I'm Santo and uh, in this particular channel we focus on different businesses which you can pump your money in and also we try to look maybe if you have the knowledge but you don't have the capital we try to help you see how you can convert that particular knowledge into getting some kind of cash out of it lastly we talk always in this particular channel what we do is that we focus on business advice like we try to help you manage your business trying to feature also different factors that affecting your business and try to solve them so if you haven't subscribed make sure you have subscribed down there and hit on that notification bell so that whenever we release any new video you'll be the first one to watch it and also I, I believe this channel is for you and actually it's going to learn a lot if you want to make that extra cash be sure to subscribe as i've said it on that notification bell and all will be well so in this particular video i'm gonna talk about now the salon business so now we are focusing on the salon business so salon i when i talk about the salon is a place where maybe you always go make your hair do some manicure pedicure but did you know that anyone can do that particular business yes just anyone can do that particular business and it's a good business in such a way that Many young people, we have many ladies and young men are venturing to it because of its particular the revenue that they generate from that particular business. And uh, I believe it's a good business to start. It's among the, it's, I always rate it as among the, we have 10 more profitable small businesses that you can start. You can start it from somewhere, either if you have capital or not have capital you can start it but in this particular video i'm going to this being the part one of this video i'm going to talk about now that i have some money of some capital where do i start from will i really make money so follow me closely to the end and by the end of this video if you have your capital be ready to start this particular business now let's now dive deep dive deeper into this particular business this particular business so before you have the money before you invest you have to do something we call market analysis you have to go to the market and evaluate your market to know this particular area where i want to set up this particular business has how many people how many people do their hair because salon deals with hair so we have to understand how many people are making their hair is it children is it women or is it men then the second thing you have to look at is how much how much do they pay for their for those particular services by then you will be able to gauge if i enter this particular market market this is how i'll be charging so you can do that by simply just walking finding maybe a lady or a gentleman who has made the hair and you can just give her some compliment and just ask her him or her slowly by slowly like where do you make your hair how much did they charge you for this particular style? Which styles do you prefer? The kind of services that they offer. By then, you will be gathering that particular information. And that information is very key in terms of you starting that particular business. The other thing I always say is that when you see that area that you want to start, when you see, you see a presence for another salon, it's really a clear indication that actually that business is working because it's like a landmark like a signpost showing you that if i venture into it at least i'm not going to get out of there empty handed so that's the aspect of market and as you try to understand the market before pumping your money into that particular business i believe you have understood the part of marketing you have to do market analysis before you start pumping your money into that particular business so the other thing now we have understood the market now what next now we, we need to find a location where do i want to locate this particular business and now that i have the money i need to have my own place so what you need to do right now you need to try to figure to find out a place by a place i don't mean just any place you can find a you can room a, a particular room rent a room or 
you can decide just to maybe look for a, a shop that is vacant enter there then you start the process so i really prefer you do it in a make sure the place that you are renting is visible so that your customers can see whenever they pass they know ah there is a salon there you can go make our hair then number two you have to understand that the place should be accessible accessibility is very key for example i'm coming into your place yes i'm coming to make your to maybe make my hair or i'm bringing you a client so instead of asking for too many directions i need just to come we see the place and we just walk in stress free so you must ensure that the that particular place is not that stressful so that clients don't have that difficult time coming to your particular place so you have to do it then the other challenge that comes with this finding your location is you see the many people looking for rooms and uh, the people owning them they tend to increase that particular rent so if you have your money please and you find a place the the rent is too high for you please don't just give up you can look for another place though there are different as anywhere you can just find a place that is a bit cheaper but you can put a sign post somewhere just try to ensure that the room or the rent does not discourage you from starting this particular business the the room that you're renting you also ensure that it's spacious because a salon where maybe on a weekends many people want to make the hair they will come in and they will need that particular space to wait you will be delivering or giving your services make sure the room has access to electricity because most of the equipment will use electricity so you have to ensure there is electricity then i've told about the, the room being at least spacious and make sure there is some ventilation we'll talk about that next then accessibility to water water is not a must but try to ensure that there is you can you don't have difficulties when accessing that particular when accessing the water so maybe put a tank there you put your own water there so actually we are done now we have found a room now now what next after that now that we have found a room we are going to look at now what will be what the item that you'll be using in this particular place also our salon needs a blow dryer yes it's key you need it you need combs you need the hair dryers okay you need the wigs you need the hair oils that you're going to use at your hair to your place for your class and delivering those services it's key but i always say yes you can start small you can start with that which is which you can afford first of all you can afford a good dress not that too much expensive maybe a hair dryer might be a bit higher but with this money that you have you have to budget it in a way that actually i'm going for this dryers i'm going for this blow dry the combs you try just to budget if you can't afford the new ones you can go for the second one hand ones just ensure that your business is not stuck at least let's make sure this business is running or it's a it's has some life so you try make sure you access this particular equipment they will be helpful to you then i talked about the electricity you have to enjoy it electricity because most of these particular items they use electricity at most then the other thing after the equipment of course you will need a furniture a place where it's a room when they come in they want to sit down and wait for their services so i always prefer here you have to look for a sofa set maybe if you have sofa set if you don't have you can just go for plastic chairs as long as the room is attractive and it's have decorated it well people will just customers will just come regardless of the fun type of furniture that you have unless you're going for the executive one for which that will need you to have a lump sum of money but you can start small more people start small then you grow from there then the other thing i'll talk about is now the i'll talk about the now we have found a room we have stocked in the equipment now you have placed the furniture as you need now we look at what next what next now it's called the government regulations see where i am 
the rules that are governing that particular business. Maybe maybe we're in Africa. I know rules do vary, but it depends specifically. You have to if you are doing formal, then you have to seek either with the administration. Maybe if you are a county, you go to the county revenues, go check. But I always believe you can also negotiate. Some the some county government like I've seen most of my most of the clients who are doing this particular they have tried to negotiate and actually they some they pay daily and others have decided that they will just pay yearly. So it's how you are going to how you are and what you prefer and also the that particular department that deals with revenue. Are they going to listen to you? So you have to always go there, listen to them, they listen to you and come up with a solution so that when you start your business you don't just they don't just come and ambush ambush you and you find yourself in the wrong side of the law. So it's important visit that particular place even if it's early, go check what they need, the requirements that are needed. Then if you start this particular business, they will not interfere with it. So the other thing that I can say is now, from there now you have to set the prices and the services that you offer. So you have to understand, I'm going to offer this particular service, yes? How much will I be charging? So you have to do that and uh, it's important because customers always prefer a fair price, fair pricing but quality service. So I would like to say that you have to be keen on that because when you hike the process, customers will run away. Customers need someone who understands them with a friendly price. The other thing I will talk about if you have, if maybe you have the money and you didn't have that, those particular skills. So what you're going to do about it is that you're going to to go to the nearest salon. You can maybe talk to that particular agent, that particular lady or a, a man who is there. He or she will teach, take you through how to make that hair and you are going to get skills. Provided that maybe you agree giving him some, some small token of fee and from there will come out of that place with that knowledge which you can apply in your place. The other thing is maybe if you don't like that particular process you can go and take a short course on hair. So, so that you can get that knowledge it's quite only you can try to, if you are keen enough, you can take it through three to four months or it, at times it takes almost a year. But you can go slowly, slowly, you just don't need to go sit in class the whole, the whole particular semester or the whole term. You just have to look for a free time to go there, learn one or two things, come apply in your business. I hope from there now, we started with marketing and start understanding the market now. We went to actually finding the location and we found a room. We stocked the room with the equipment. We placed the furniture. Then from there, we did the pricing, understanding now the pricing. Now this one, pricing, then the aspect of now government policies, you have to go be in the right way with the government. You know how the government, they don't joke. They can harass you really. It depends with where you are. So I'm not discouraging you, but they are good people also. So the other thing now that we deal with the government regulation, we deal with the skills. Now your skills and how you make your hair will really attract your customers. When they go out there, how they look will make many of them say, where did you make your hair from? Come, let's make it here. Then the other aspect, when it comes to marketing, you can also try make those particular posters, you can create WhatsApp groups for your clients and also you can try to put signposts to make sure your place looks attractive and uh, within that particular period, like it's a time frame, they will find that it will be seen in the market, like there will be a, an awareness that will be created and uh, you will actually see clear more and more clients coming as they grow day by day. I believe that's all you need to know, but I've tried to summarize it in a way that you can understand within this particular period that you, those that you can understand this is how this business is. And there is no other way. Actually, I've tried to summarize it for you. So the other thing I would like to say is you don't just start a business today. 
uh, maybe you're going to launch it next week and the following day you expect more clients to come no it doesn't happen that way a business is like a baby you have to take care of it so at times you, you it will be down from the beginning but as it grows you find that now customers are understanding they are knowing where you are and they will be coming frequently and uh, the day, the, the, there are days when you will find that you have too many clients in a way that you cannot accommodate all of them and in those cases now you will find that you need to maybe vacate and to go another room bigger than that but you, you have to be grateful to get and pray that as it grows you don't uh, you don't just mismanage your funds because now you are seeing so you have many clients but instead you focus on the health of your business actually the other thing is that you need patience in this business you need to have patience please 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 you need patience so that at least you can have that peace of mind knowing that even though today i've done few clients tomorrow i'm gonna do more and more clients so you have to be optimistic like tomorrow will be better than today and also you have to focus on the health of your business so from there i want to leave it at that and if you have any question you can put it in the in the comment section below and if you are doing this business you can just say i'm doing this business down there then okay there is this aspect of the budget i actually i don't like talking about it so much because the prices might differ from where you are but i believe Maybe I'll, 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 I wanted to do some evaluation, but I saw that maybe my figures might go different from it. But you have to only buy equipment and the rent and the service. Okay, it, the beginning is always hard, but you have to always give it a try. So if you haven't, you haven't subscribed to this particular channel, make sure you have subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are coming with more and more videos and you can support us by sharing subscribing subscribing and uh, that's all i have for this part one of this particular video starting a salon business with capital now i'll be doing another video where by now i don't have the capital i have only the skills do i really do am i able to make this particular business alive so I'm going to focus that on another video. So if you have subscribed, you will get that video. Hit that notification bell. It's coming as soon as possible. Bye-bye for now.